hello friends my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial in previous video tutorial we have gone through the JDBC statement and there we have seen uh, how we can execute uh, SQL literal or hard coded SQL using JDBC statement but <coughs> if you have a dynamic query means query with uh, parameter which is having a placeholder or question mark and that represents the dynamic value in that case we should go for the JDBC prepare statement so let's go through the slide and uh, let's see how prepare statement is beneficial than uh, JDBC statement <coughs> so in this video we are going to look into the following concept like uh, how to create a prepare statement uh, how to insert parameter into a prepared statement uh, how to execute the prepare statement uh, reusing our prepare statement and finally we'll look into uh, prepare statement performance as well so a prepare statement is a special kind of a statement object with some useful features uh, one of the things you need to keep in mind you need a statement in order to execute either a query or an update you can use a prepared statement instead of a statement and benefit from the uh, features of the prepare statement so what are the features of the primary features of the uh, prepare statement so first we have a easy to insert parameters into the SQL query or SQL statement easy to reuse the prepare statement with new parameters uh, if you have a S uh, I mean a statement then you are going to uh, execute a uh, hard coded SQL but uh, in prepare statement you can substitute something is called placeholder with the some new dynamic value uh, you may increase the performance of executed statements using prepare statement and enables easier batch updates as well now first of first of all we'll look how to create a prepare statement so before you can use a prepare statement you must first create it uh, you do so using the connection dot prepare statement uh, connection is a object of connection JDBC connection uh, interface you will have to call a, a prepare statement method on it and this will return you the object of uh, prepared statement right so if you have a like uh, select query like select a star from employee table where employee ID equal to something is called placeholder you are not going to hard code it and this SQL query you need to pass to the prepare statement method and this will return you a prepared statement object right so prepare statement is now ready to have parameter insertion now this placeholder you can uh, this uh, this placeholder you can you can replace by some actual value at a runtime right so that's why we are inserting parameters to a prepare statement everywhere you need to insert a parameter into your SQL you need to write a uh, question mark and that is also called placeholder for instance uh, we have written a SQL query like select a star from employee table where employee ID equal to question mark right once a prepared statement is created or prepared for the above SQL statements you can insert parameters at the location of the question mark this is done using the many set triple X so here triple X is nothing but the we have a setter method for all primitive types a string data type and there are a lot of many data type exists in the uh, Java so there is a setter method for almost all data type right in prepare statement method so you can make use of this method to uh, set the value for this placeholder right like here prepared statement and we have given set long and this is the index of the your uh, placeholder so we have a only one placeholder so if you look from the left to right then we have a uh, first placeholder is the index is called one if you have a second placeholder then two and so on right so we have a only employee id so we have written prepare a statement this object which we have created here and then we have called set long method and index is one for this placeholder and just we are passing employee id one two three right so it's pretty straightforward and same I have written over here the first no, the first number one is the index of the parameter to insert the value for right so this is the first index right 
and for that you can set the value over here right now here is the same example with a bit more details so here you have a select a star from employee table where employee id equal to question mark right and here you pass this sql statement you got the prepare statement then prepare statement dot set long and directly you can set this value right now you can have more than one placeholder in sql statement then just insert more than one question mark here you have example like select start from employee table where first name equal to question mark and last name equal to question mark so you pass this sql query to this method prepare statement which belongs to the connection interface and you got the prepare statement object now you have a two placeholder right so prepare statement dot set long you are telling set long uh, sorry set a string and just we are substituting this value substituting this question mark with john this is the first name and from left to right is index of this placeholder is one and for this is two so for two again you are doing prepare statement dot set long you are providing the index for this question mark two and the last name you are spe specifying is smith now how to execute the prepare statement so once you sub substitute the values for this placeholder you need to execute it right so executing the prepare statement looks like executing a regular statement right so the way we have executed a statement in similar fashion we have to execute the prepare statement as well so to execute a query call the execute query or execute update method here uh, i have given an example of execute query if you have a select query like this then this select query you are passing as a parameter to the prepare statement and this returns you the prepare statement object prepared statement object now you are substituting this placeholder with the actual value first name is john and second name is smith and for first name index is one and for second name is index two that you will have to count from left to right so from left to right first name comes first and second name two index for first name is one and last for last name is two now uh, you will have to call execute query method on it this will return the result set and you need to iterate this result set to get the value from the result set right as you can see the execute query method returns a result set iterating the result set here is an uh, now we'll have to iterate the result set to get all uh, record from the result set right now there is another example for execute update so if you have a query like sql query like update delete or insert then you will have to use execute update as we used in a statement right so here we have update employee table set just we are updating the first name and last name for the particular employee id so here we will have to pass this sql query to uh, prepare a statement method this returns you the prepared statement object and just you are subject so index for first name is one for last name is two and for id is three so for every index just we are setting the value actual value at runtime and we are just executing this calling the execute update so this will return you the number of rows affected by this sql query right so this is for updating the database so here execute update method is used when updating the database it returns an int which tells how many records in the database were affected by the update query right so how many rows is affected by this update query that count is basically going to return by this api now how to reuse the uh, prepare statement a statement you cannot reuse but prepare statement of course you can reuse once a prepare statement is prepared it can be re reused after execution you reuse a prepare statement by setting new values for the parameters and then execute it again here i have given an example like you have a update employee id set you will have to set first name last name and for particular employee id so just we are passing this sql query to prepare method this returns us the object of prepared statement and here uh, we are just putting the value for all these three parameters right and i'm calling the execute update this returns you the number of rows affected by this sql query again what i'm again i'm setting new value for this placeholder and again i'm calling the execute update so this way here 
a prepare statement I have used twice, reused it. In this way, you can reuse prepare statement uh, as long as you want. So that's the benefit of prepare statement. Now we have a prepare statement performance. So it takes time for our database to parse an SQL string and create a query plan for it. So a query plan is an analysis of how the database can execute the query in the most efficient way. So if you submit a new full SQL statement for every query or update to the database, the database has to pass the SQL query and for uh, SQL and for queries create a query plan. By reusing an existing prepared statement, you can reuse both the SQL parsing as well as query plan for subsequent queries. This speeds of query execution by decreasing the parsing and query planning overhead of each execution right so database has database has not to parse as well as plan for uh, this query every time this happens only once that's why performance of a prepared statement is faster than a statement but for a statement this two things happens for every database call so there are two levels of potential reuse of prepared statement so first uh, potential reuse of prepare statement is reuse of prepare statement by JDBC driver and reuse prepare statement by the database. So first of all the JDBC driver can cache prepare statement object in internally and thus reuse the prepare statement object. This may save a uh, little of uh, prepare statement creation time right and second thing the cached parsing and query plan could potentially be uh, reused across Java application for instance application servers in a cluster uh, where you have a more than one application server or web server using the same data so in in that case also uh, you have a benefit of prepare statement as well right if you have a cluster environment now here uh, we have a diagram which illustrating the caching of a statement in the database right so once you call the database so then prepare statement is getting cached to the database server and that is getting used by the client every time so which improves the performance of the uh, prepared statement right so so thanks for watching this video and uh, see you in next video tutorial i'll come up with the, some practical example of prepared statements so please be there over with me and thanks for watching this video.